the jewel of the deserts. What? So, how would you get there? Like, how would you be traveling? Where would, if you please, so, as you've been called upon by, by the council to inspect the local area. Who would, or at least, say who would like to start? Sending reference her one moment. Oh, let me show it. I'm going to arrive on the steed that I actually okay. bought. His name is Drax. And Drax. yeah, uh -huh. Drax. D R. Yep, Drax. Alright. Wait, what? Yeah, that's how. Um, we're gonna call this guy Martin instead of Anthony Amph temporarily. That's how Martin arrives. Alright, so I you arrive. I'm assuming at night. It's only thematic if I arrive in a black horse at night. No, it's only thematic. Alright then. So you've been called upon. To arrive in the town of Sandlow. It, I do not have a map for it because I did not have a lot of time I'm in the week. So. No worries. Also, this is how his armor looks like. Mm -hmm. This is level six. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. It's just very fancy looking full plate. It's very fancy. Completely useless. <laughs> Paper armor. Basically, Go. but it's very fancy. Brevin, does this thing, let's be real, this thing does not look practical. It looks cool. It's basically made out of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't reveal the secret. And, um, I guess if anyone understands materials close, it appears to be made out of mithril. Uh, yes, someone understands that. Yeah, it's definitely so not a person in fucking adamantine. <laughs> adamantine. I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like paper to me. <laughs> you're wrong. This is actually oh, cardboard that I spent 20 hours painting on. It's it's for the great cardboard battle of who gets to keep the name John. I am dying. You know. Oh, <laughs> okay, cancer child, you go then. And now. <laughs> Rabbit, yeah, but you go. Your turn. Oh, there you go. Okay. What's up? There you go. Okay. 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 Yeah, we're just waiting for the confirmation. Yeah, and then it just. Walk. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the reference. Same picture, but bigger size. Um. So Kabaya is traveling, I would say, from Faceia to Sandlow on foot in his. Near the fucking saddle. Uh. And yeah, that that's about all you know for now, because you didn't met him. Hey. Right on foot? Yeah. That's okay, a long way. So you rolled a negative so you have a negative five on the intelligence modifier. Okay, let me write that down. <laughs> Seems like it. I mean the desserts so the desserts are absolutely boiling. And they are, during the day, it is absolutely boiling. You would have sunburns all over your body unless you hadn't made, like, special preparations. Well, Revan, you know what makes it worse? He didn't say he has shoes on. He just went on foot. He just has no shoes. He's just on foot. He just Yeah, walked. who needs food? Who needs food? <laughs> who needs shoes? <laughs> okay, let's all go right. Ahead. Maybe I said. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great so. start. <laughs> Hey, but I have good berries, so fuck you. <laughs> All right, yes, I have absorbed the element. I absorb the element of the sun. <laughs> that I don't think that's how it works. Oh, here. Yes, yeah, yes, Revan, who is three thousand miles away. Hello. Just walk away. I'm walking. I'm walking back towards the light. Don't hurry. Don't panic. I'm walking away again. Oh god, I thought he was gone for real. Oh. Yeah, I'm walking back. I have returned. Be gone, fat. 
<laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> why, why does it sound like Revan was just making circles in his room? Just from... Yep, literally. <laughs> Probably was. He was just lying. I did yeah, go uh, across like the room. I did no, go across the room. He was just standing outside the door. You know how, how animals think that we're just behind the door when we leave? That's basically what Revan was doing uh, to us. Uh, I actually I think I know what subclass he went with. Rabbit. Wait, what? <laughs> I think I have a good deduction of what subclass you went with. Ah, good. Which one? Nine Sang. But then. No, but please can indulge, can indulge us. Right? Please indulge us. Okay. I beg you. It doesn't sound like Bow Knight. It's not Dungeon, it's not Mage Hand, it's not Celeste, it's not Brawl, it's not Cortezier. You don't really count me. You don't really appear to be. um an Echo Knight or Champion or Battlemaster or King Archer or Rune Knight. So I'm thinking maybe Eldridge Knight? Ah. With a hint of multi-class into Druid. You're oh, almost shit. on the point, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's basically a ranger. <laughs> no, he, he's close. At, in one thing. <laughs> that you're a Druid? Yeah, you said you cast a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am Druid. <laughs> So, as you are walking on foot, Vampy Vamp, I'm going to be calling you Vampy Vamp from now on, is traveling on horseback <laughs> the, the in very time. demonic armor. What are you talking about? More Mr. Vampy Vamp Sr. <laughs> Junior has never worn anything demonic. How dare you? Mm -hmm. And next is Petrovich. Uh, Petrovich just kind of... At first, he was walking on foot, same way, but at some point, he just basically overtook a carriage and just went there. By overtook, what do you mean by that? I mean... Weaponized diplomacy. <laughs> ah, so you stole it. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so there's the demon knight thing above you on demon steed. And there's the the one that's st is stealing a bunch. Uh, apparently, hostile it's government take. The one that is very good at uh, hostile diplomacy, as I stated earlier. And then there's the dude that's just walking barefoot. Yeah, it took me th thirteen days or eleven, depends how you Maybe. count it. <laughs> thirteen or eleven, fifteen. Take it or leave. Nope. <laughs> 13 or 11, you can't choose the other number. <laughs> well, that's 15 days to take, it would take from going from face A to Fernando, your take. So, yeah. yeah this one, uh... You're also going very slowly because you are walking barefoot, so you cannot, you cannot walk during the day. Because the sands themselves are getting extremely hot, so you have to walk in the nights. What if he did have toes? It's up to him whether he wants to like storm through either way. But if he if he does do it, he's pretty sure he's going to get some damage to his, his feet. <laughs> Fifteen days and four hours. Take it all leave. Revan, if I sell my soul, can it be 20 days? <laughs> <laughs> but he also has to walk in the sun during the during during sun time, during the day. Sun time because sun's usually long in the day because the desert. Night time also because deserts. Here's my reasoning for it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> oh That's fuck! Great. I don't have my invocations prepared. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I fucking hate you. <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> I, totally I, I, I fucking hate you. I know. I fucking, I fucking hate you. I know. I know. Huh? This campaign in a natural. I need to destroy you. Please do. 
<laughs> what the hell did you do that? Okay, I everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> One just became much, much, much more difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> as of course, the one on a horse m makes it to the town first. And then after that comes the one on the carriage, and then finally the one that is going to die soon. Wonder what that is. I have never heard a rabbit be so fucking passive aggressive in a funny way. <laughs> well done, rabbit. I will tell you after this one shot what rabbit, have I rabbit, done. I know it doesn't matter, but just for this bullshit, you get inspiration point in the mini one shot. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck's happening, but you get temporary inspiration on all rolls to annoy someone. It's the persistence that I fucking hate. <laughs> okay. Got the gun. No. Or I think he became a gun. Well, he yeah, has the bullet. He fucking will soon. I turned myself into a bullet, Morty. I'm Bullet Rick. Bullet Rick, baby. Okay, let's let's continue. Just... Oh. <laughs> as you all reach the deserts of Medna, as. At first, it's not overly difficult for the first few days. It's it's quite it is, it's quite a high temperature, you know. It's it is a desert. Before, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, and does not seem to be going any getting to any stable point. The further you go south, the hotter it goes, the uh, hotter it gets, and you it gets to points where. You feel like your horse is about to keel over. You, as you every now and then, you check on like the feet of the horse to make sure that they aren't getting absolutely smoldered, and it gets to the point where it's you see invisible damage on the foot of the horse. The hooves are getting absolutely scorched. So, and I would assume that you would just keep going, hoping for some sort of oasis, some sort of. Reprieve from the heat, as it is absolutely boiling. The armor is uncomfortable. It is. It oh, is so. I only hear you now. Hmm? I only I only started to hear you now. What? What do you mean? My my, my headphones don't work. Didn't work, so I had to try to try to fix them. But I only now hear you. Horse feet bad. It's very hot. <laughs> It's not getting any... Uh, I, carry the, stable I carry the horse. What is your strength? 17. I believe strength is... What? Was it... Uh, 10 15? I think so. Yes, carrying capacity is uh, strength times 15. How much does horse weigh? Checking that out. <laughs> um, and I would say if it's a healthy horse, draft horse, it would be a no. Okay. It's a riding horse, but okay. Um, so it's still probably very similar. More, so yeah. That's way it's even more. You, you can drag it, not carry it. <laughs> No, I can just only pick up the two hooves, so it looks like it's just... <laughs> oh, Hold on. No, don't do that. I'm mm. just going to go further, try to find something. Alright. As you continue forward, it is... It's finally getting to a temperature that is not as bad as... Like, it, that is stable. It's not getting that much harder, hotter, but it's not getting cold. It's still... Absolutely horrible. Anytime you take a step in your armor, it just feels like you're about to absolutely explode out of the heat that is like building up in your armor. It's like, a, like you're inside of a pot that is being thrown onto a furnace. If only I could sweat. Hmm. That is very lucky for you. <laughs> exactly. Look at a rabbit. Yep, you're dragging the horse. <laughs> why? Why the fuck not expect that at this point? Why not? This is I, this is animal cruelty, I think. 
I'll remember Kira Fair. <laughs> I'm telling you. What do you mean remember Kira Fair? You're still named the Wicked of Oz. <laughs> I remember Kira Fair. Yes, that's your name. It's, uh... Yeah, I try to kind of um, go as fast as I can, trying to find something else, because this is uh, slightly problematic. Yes. And as you try to keep going, you your horses. It oddly doesn't seem to be that... No, it doesn't seem to notice the amount of damage happening to its legs. It kind of, every time that you try to push it, or every time that you try to, like, see if you can carry it, which you couldn't, it seems unbothered by whenever it's walking. It just seems like it's it's normal everyday self. You're retarded. Bro, is my whole oh, let's check and tell the of a horse. Yep, it is actually. <laughs> my bad. Okay then. But as I'm you... sorry, it actually is mentally damaged. The horse's name is Alcarol. Yes. <laughs> That's the <laughs> name. Let's change that acro. Okay. And as you get closer and closer to where Sano is supposed to be located. What is this fucking message? What? <laughs> to be fair, Revan said that first. We did say. But as you get closer and closer to the marked map. Well, where is Mark, Mark, uh, yeah, the map marks some of the beam. Eventually, you eventually see off in the distance, rising like a mirage, this vast, the vast expanse of scorched, scorched stones and rocky outcrops nestled inside a rugged canyon, a town. You don't know if your mind is playing tricks on you, but you would hope not. It's quite a large town. It meets the description of Sandal that you've been hearing about. The air itself shimmers by the heat, due to the heat. And in the distance, you hear a sound that you're, you feel like you've heard before, but can't really put your finger on it. Before you look out into the distance, and lo far, far into the distance, you see pillars of smoke coming from a nearby mountain. As you enter into the town, you are greeted by a, a cacophony of sights. The Sounds are of people just going about their lives. Some there are just speaking to each other, just doing whatever their their days require them to do. The smell is unusual. It's quite dry. It's you can sometimes smell faint hints of manure. You can sometimes smell fragrances, pink fragrances, and incense all across. It's either one of the two. And you would... Yeah. Welcome to Sanlo. The heat itself has died down considerably. It is no longer scorching the feet, of, feet through the like, of the horse. Your feet are fine because you have metal between them, even though it is still yeah, fucking hot inside there. Yeah. Uh, I would say Van... <laughs> I would say Martin. Martin, that's his uncanonical name. Would, like, use some water from his um, flask? And just rub it against the horse's feet, because like it's it's hot. Though they say this is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. So from the water skin, just like slight water, just make it feel less pain. All right. As as you do that, many people, a lot of people look at the new arrival of this demonic-looking armored person in a horse that seems to be built it in the desert. And as you are pouring the water on the feet of your horses, they nod at you with understanding, but also some of them are just still very confused. As I said, black armor, black horse, 
middle of the scorching desert, named after the god's death. Not something you see every day. Especially since you don't seem to be overly... Well, no, Tuesdays. Especially since you don't seem to be incredibly bothered by it. You are... Like, even with your affliction, you are still bothered by it, but not as much as normal people would. So they're also quite standoffish, standoffish about that. As you enter into the town, what would you like to do? How would how would you spend your time while you're waiting for? You would you would be told that there were some people that will be joining. You. I will tell you that. Oh. Okay. So, hmm. Well, I have some gold on me, so. The clear logical reasoning is try to get, try to go to like a blacksmith or something, try to find some lovely things to put on my horse. And the horse's hooves. Hmm. All right. You go around. Just say one thing. Rogan rolls a 1d100 suddenly and in the plane of Medna again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's roll the luck of the day. Hey. Oh, perfect. All right, luck of the day. Expect that. Luck of the day. Come on. Revan, you okay. also have to do this. I will do that when I'm, when I'm done. Okay. Um. High numbers is good for the DM, low numbers are good for the players. Yes, apparently I will have amazing luck. The troll which has amazing. Mine is a. How do you pronounce it again? Cabbage? Cabbage? Cabbage. Cabbage. Uh, uh, rabbit, how do you pronounce it? Oh, uh, Kabaya. Kabaya. Kabaya will actually be fucked, just like Rowan said so. Um, Perfect. Rowan will be having a decent day. <laughs> Better than average. Why? Because he's about to kill a kill one shot player kicker. Finally. Potentially more. Maybe. Maybe. But as you are on the lookouts, let's move to Petrovich. As you... Your horses are draft horses, and they would be from the same area, so they would come with the uh, equipment required for the desert. And that seems to be what you were about to buy, Vampy Vamp. Which are basically these incredibly thick shoe-like things that have some sort of chitinous shell on the bottom of it. And like a substitute for the horse's own legs. I imagine, I imagine the carriage that they are carrying just has like... It's a little bar and there's like multiple arrows sticking out. <laughs> <coughs> you can customize it as you wish. As it is yours. It's something that you would have selected out, and something that you would most likely have been the one damaging. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> As you continue along the desert, you have a considerably hard time with the heat. As I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can sweat. And you can <laughs> do all the things that a uh, humanoid can do. Go again. No, wait, sorry. Wait, no, you are different. Aren't you really snowman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he just looks yes, like he very much not, not, not vibing. You are having a terrible fucking time. And um, yes. <laughs> just, so. You're just like flying in the air, just I am too hot. That's you. And you're longer um, you see mirages every now and then of oh, water. I have water. There's some water over there. You see all kinds of things as the heat just takes you. You get, you feel like you're about to get heat stroke every two seconds, basically. It, that, yeah, that's just me every summer, not the game. <laughs> I feel you there. It's, but soon enough, as you're going through the same thing as uh, Misha Vampy Vamp. You reach a town that you think is a mirage. 
and see the same site. Uh -huh. Do you wish to ride in there, or do you not trust me? What do you see? I don't know, just ride in there. Alright. I stole a carriage. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. So what's going to happen? As you reach into the town, you see the same sights, same smells, same people. They're less standoffish about you, even though you they are still a little due to your uh, carriage yeah. being worse for wear. And also the fact that you are basically a snowman. Okay, I am a very humanoid snowman. I know I never send art, which I will do yeah. right now because I literally just forgot. But you are very, very, very white. Yes, that yes, that sounds. <laughs> hmm. That sounds more racist than it should. Why do I, I see guns? Like I saw a gun. What is that? The arcane firearm that I get as a subclass feature. That's basically how it's flavored. What class are you again? You didn't tell me anything Artillerist, about the character. Artillerist Artificer. Ah, so you basically have a stick and you infuse it with magic to pretend like it's a firearm, but actually it's just firing <laughs> Eldritch Blast or something. Stick. <laughs> That's it's a stick that is a, <laughs> what's carved in a shape of a gun, and it basically acts as a gun, but magical. But I can magic. actually shoot it. And lock, rather. I would have preferred if you had talked to it over with me, but I don't know. It's I it, was, I yeah, I mean, it just that. looks like one, and isn't a yeah. gun? It could have been worse. That was more technical. Like, the, have you ever seen a gun before? Do you know what that is? I'm talking about those kinds of aspects. Not like yeah. you would have been able to. I would have definitely allowed the class. I would have preferred it. It's fine. It's the way now. <laughs> that is. Also, he is an inventor, so he probably just thought that would look interesting and just make it. Fair enough. As you go inside, you... You have also been told that you need to wait for a few people. At least, it would be preferable that you would wait for, people for, <laughs> wait for a few people. Alright, that's solo watch. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Kind of just stroll around town, look at how things are going and shit. Look for mm -hmm. anyone who doesn't appear to be local. As you find, explore the find town. Find something to not die of heat stroke. You know what, just for fun, please roll me a perce perception check. I guess, me with my... Expertise and perception. Yeah, as long as you just don't get a natural one, that is. 18. That's as you. Safe. That is one please. higher than my passive perception. Uh, please explain what your character is doing as you're buying these shoes like things for your horse. That's um, right next to the last. He, he isn't saying anything. He's just pointing at the shoes and then pointing at the gold. And just doing that repeatedly, trying to intimidate the man to telling him the price. What do you? What do you want? Pointing Shh. at the shoes, pointing at gold. You want to buy? Not. Cool. Uh, for gold, uh, per set. Just a set is two. Two. What do you want? you need? You need four, so eight. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm doing quick math. Yep. Eight gold. Takes it. He takes it and gives you the boots. He's not going to install it himself. He, he, you guys have to do it yourself. No, so, and then just does a. Th you, you know that weird demonic head spin where it goes behind your back? He does that and then turns his arm around to wave and then just leaves. Correct. He does every day. Right. I'm very happy with what I just witnessed. Oh, 
Não, não. What? Do, do I see the, the, man, the weird person in the game? There is. Buff. Everyone else is told in. Those that seem to have some sort of uh, reason for being there, aka okay, some those that would actually be effective in the uh, in the boiling hot sun in the, in the desert. Then there's just this dude here that is basically <laughs> completely out of place. And in clothes that would not be uh, similar to you, would not be very effective in the uh, blistering out sun. Well, the, the clear thing to do is ride my horse, my horse towards there and introduce myself. Hello. Hello. What do you need? I do believe it wasn't I was I was supposed to meet you? One of you, maybe more, I'm not sure. Have you received a letter? Uh yes. If oh. that's the same letter we're talking about and you'll show the letter just completely nonchalantly. Identical copy just not yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like it, seems like it. Pleasure to meet you, Martin. Also, are you okay? You are you leaking? Is that sweat? I well, I just say snowmen don't do well in deserts. And um, what? My, my, what did you say? Moving on. Um. Probably there's another one, so how about we just wait and, um, couple drinks at the tavern? Well, you eat water, most likely other than ale, but, yeah. Mm, sure. My uh, drink. I would expect it to be, though. Also with uh, him, you see, like, a metallic arctic fox on his shoulder. Oh, adorable. Just a lot of clanking when he's petting the fox. <laughs> With armor. <laughs> exactly. And that is Elizabeth. Oh, this is Drax, and he points to the to the to the thing that looks like a horse. And just yeah, going to the tavern, small chit chat, trying to find st like small info about each other, and wait for person number three. All right. <laughs> so, huh? So, as you are having yourself a drink, water or ale, up to you. Both are quite cheap. You. It takes quite a while. For some reason, it takes quite a while for a certain person to show up. I don't really know why. Yeah, the suspected there person. Three months later. <laughs> oh, a few, yeah, a few hours would go by. Like you got a head start. And please, Kapia. Is that Kapia? Kapia, yeah. Kapia. What do you look like, and how? Do you react to the heat, to the blistering, blistering heat? As the camera zooms out from the tavern and zooms in to a person walking next, almost towards the city, almost next to it, you see a barehanded, barefooted, fucking barely equipped, a person just walking. He is, though it's very hot. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the heat because he can tolerate from minus 70 to plus 150 Celsius. So he's good in this he heat. Would be fine. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit like, it's a bit dry, but yeah. Yeah, just jogging, you know, happily. Ooh, I see you still are, <laughs> You still are looking a bit, a bit like red, like in the face and on like mm -hmm. the uh, neck, but you are. You wouldn't be completely dying. You wouldn't be dying. Yes. It's a trend we are moving, I'm not gonna... <laughs> it's now, bitches. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> You're like 20 times in a, in a 
better situation than I am. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, as you walk throughout the, through this vast, empty landscape, it's been very boring. As you've seen nothing new, you haven't been hallucinating. Like, that's not even been happening, so there's literally nothing except the same landscape for the past three to four, maybe even five days. The same fucking blueberries as I chop one of them and out. It's been fucking so long. <laughs> <laughs> and as you have your little outburst, you finally look ahead and you see something that isn't yellow. Just mm. most of it is yellow. It's Shit. actually orange. <gasps> Different shade. And, and you can see what looks to be houses. You like try to peer with your eyes, but they're not that good. So you know, like, they're not like they're not bad, but they're you know they're not the best. And yeah, and you think that you see what looks to be a town. I will finally get fucking food, and 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 something to drink. And you we just run. start running towards any fucking establishment that can, that they can get food for free because they don't have money to spend. Mm. You start absolutely booking it. It's when you're booking it, the heat does get, get begin to catch up with you as you're using more energy, but you would still be like you are still better than. Basically everyone else except the freaking vampire dude. But as you finally make it to town, you see people, you see architecture, you see animals, you see something that isn't beetles, you see there's there are places to get drinks, there are places to get water, there are places to get everything that you would require. I'm like a crazy man running through the city just yelling, Yay! Fucking finally! <laughs> And you, I assume you just book it to some place to get a drink. Yeah, just any, just, just, just fucking spark the kick the door open and just fucking go inside. So please explain what your character looks like as you pick in the door that uh, Van Pi Van Pan Petrovic are in, or like the that establishment. As you turn your head towards the sound of somebody fucking slamming the door open, you see. A normal looking person, strangely enough, after all the snowmen and vampires. <laughs> and uh, just. And he looks like an attractive human of average height and weight. And he is literally barely equipped for this kind of place. He's. You don't see even a backpack on him, literally. There's only a couple of pouches. There's on his back, there's like a, a machete pickaxe for some reason. And some kind of circlet on his head. And some like really ragged leather armor. That's it. There's no water skins. Nothing. He's like fucking not prepared for this place. <laughs> And I just rush uh, to the counter and say to the bartender, Give me water. Or something. Please. Yes, muted DM. Indeed. Because apparently Robin died. I, uh, if you've been muted for the past five minutes or so. You know what? Fuck. As you say that, you... Uh, as you scream that, the person is quite like, Yeah, I understand that. And he just grabs a jug of water and puts it on the table and just like... Very slowly. I just chug it all. <laughs> Make my constitution say it's place. <laughs> Hey, that will be easy to calculate. I wonder why. The vodka. <laughs> 14. That's just 
Turns out it's just pure spirit. Uh, 14. Yeah. You get a bit of some. Okay, you get like a little tipsy, but you, you are going to pass out today. Oh, wait, that also, was water? That you, no, it's water. It's complete water, but you you haven't drunk in anything in, lo, in a, quite a long time and you can see <laughs> yeah. sit in. I was been I was getting my water from Goodberries, so yeah. Yeah. Finally, get some. Get some water down your throat. And as that happens, you see some interesting individuals right next, or not right next to you, but a little bit away. What both semi, basically, it's just as prepared as you were for the track. I just whispered to bartender. I who the fuck are those? Those look not normal. I think Marvin mm. would have like taken off his helmet to drink properly because it might, you know, the water might go into the armor and it's an whole not another thing. Yeah. Mm. So there's just a normal head and then just everything else is demonic. And Petroji doesn't have a helmet, so he's just like, like all these. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's. That's already it, yeah. huh? Yes, muted DM, indeed. I am <laughs> muted. <laughs> well, you were asked a question, you didn't answer it. Wait, what What was asked? I literally asked the button, who the fuck are those? Those look oh, fucking I abnormal. I, I went to Aaron. That's basically why yeah. I answered it. I tried to say that earlier, but I guess it was round out. It was too short. <laughs> I oh, guess no. when he says, I don't know, I will just approach the table, slap my hands on the table and say, and who the fuck are you two? You look fucking no, interesting. Idiot number three, welcome. Glad for you to be so late to join the party. What party? I... Also do this one more time, I will burn your hands off. Oh, okay, I won't slap any more tables. Thank you. So, oh, what is your name, idiot number three? I'm not an idiot. I'm Kabaya. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ah, you just Who are you? Like... Man. Late okay. for what? Oh, I'm guessing you got the letter. Oh, yeah, letter. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't read to pass the part to go to Sadlo. What was about the letter? Yeah, you explain it. I don't. Um, Why do I have to talk to the idiot? Come on! You, because you both have the same intellect. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same intellect. I look better on him. Anyways, my apologies. Should I talk to you in peasant idioting uh, common? I think it should. Oh, so oh so God, rich, God. rich, lordy lord. Want us to go down here, investigate, deal with problem. We get rich if we survive. Ta da! You actually do have statements. No <laughs> way, <Wait>, really? <laughs> I mean, that sounds fun, I guess. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Let's do this. Where are we going? When are we going? <laughs> So how did you arrive here again? On foot. I was on foot. I arrived from Fisé. You know, and you're really comparing me to this guy, really? Yes. Wow, look who's talking. I know what you're talking about. I stole a carriage, right? Why he smell yeah. while he's sweating so much? Um He's from Mador. They're from a door. Don't said lightly. They're they're from a door, you know. They're very used oh, to cold. Oh, from the cold lands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, where are you from? You look very intimidating. That armor. I love it here. That gets it. Okay, no, that I'm does answer intimidating. my question, but sure. Anyway. Anyways. Is this everyone yeah. we're looking for? I mean... We waited long enough. I suppose more intelligent people would have showed up by now. 
Yeah, that's why you didn't show up first, eh? No, I spent time uh, stealing a carriage. Wait, what? what? Sorry, dude, I can't afford anything. Um, I do. I, I do on the next cube. <laughs> a man in the cube the next over asked, "You said I just stole a carriage. Just by some what?" <laughs> At the same time, Kabai also says, "Wait, what?" <laughs> anyway. He just shrugs his shoulders. My apologies. My Sorry. friend is having a heat stroke. They actually sometimes believe they're a talking snowman. It's quite natural for them. My apologies. You know how Midorians get when they're in the extreme sun. The heat strokes just keep on coming. He just gives you a, a confused nod. And just no persuasion, no deception. Perfect. Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he does not care. <laughs> I'm just yeah, there's... Getting, like this weeping mess of sweat. Really trust him to say anything good. <laughs> Can we move on now? I have a I job know. to do. We all do. So, one thing the, lo the Lord that sent you here, he is currently in Phase 8. And he did, it seems that he has forgotten to include any names of people that might help you on your endeavor. Blood well, for the blood. <laughs> blood for the blood god. You just, just, instructions unclear. Start at blood cult. <laughs> oh, hey. Instructions <laughs> clear. Kills everyone. We just, just gotta look for that one shady guy in the corner of the tavern who knows everything. <laughs> We're at the corner of the tavern. Shit, we are those guys. <laughs> you are the shady guys. <laughs> Keep fine, there are three more corners. <laughs> Get two more empty. kind of behind the bar. The other one's empty. That doesn't matter. There's a shady bar bartender, I'm sure. <laughs> Just separate from an actual bartender, there's like two more. <laughs> there's, the only... there's two identical bars, like one house away. No. There's one bartender, and there's just one dude who was hired by that bartender to look all mysterious, and is supposed to like hang out in the back of the, like, the, uh... Bouncers, and no one screws up anything. It's like, oh, yeah. look at that guy. Yeah, I don't want to fuck him in front of that guy. Yeah, basically. Oh, but you were actually serious about that. Well, clean is only one thing. Oh, today. yeah. As I'm reading the, the letter. <laughs> oh, it was about <laughs> mining operations. So we should find any mining stuff being done here. That's why I brought pickaxe. I thought we forgot. Sure. I'm... Um, one's going to turn to Petrovich. How about you talk to him for the rest of the... How long this takes instead of me? Uh, no, Thank you. Your problem now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just shout at the top of my lungs so everybody can hear. <laughs> Where the fuck are you mining your stuff? Where are the mines? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Revan, can we ignore mm. that 1d4 plus 4 roll because I want to take something else? What is the 1d4 plus 4 roll supposed it to be? It was supposed to be false life, but I don't think this will fit Martin. I don't think that invocation will fit Martin. What invocation is it? Uh, let me pull out the name. It quite literally just says you cast false life at will. Yeah. What are you planning on not do? What? <laughs> you have already rolled for it, though. Yes. I know, I rolled the highs, but I uh, realized this will not fit him at all. <laughs> at all. It'll make no so what are you then planning on doing instead? Mm -hmm. I think your character think... in the middle of campaign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not a campaign if it's a one shot. <laughs> I'm going horribly fucked by the consequences of our actions if it's a one shot. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, you would definitely not get fucked by the consequences of your actions <clears throat> or so. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who's that again? 
<clears throat> or I have no idea what this man is talking about. Hey, bartender, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. My mistake. Got a bit of a cough. But oh, cough, mate. Where from that? Yeah. <laughs> Where you're from, but yes. <laughs> it, it's, it's <laughs> the answer. I want to take one with the shadow so I can quite literally disappear from this embarrassment. I disengage from this environment. <laughs> I can send you what this invocation does. It's, it, it, it's, it's from the player's handbook. Oh, yes, I see. You can send me what. You're choosing the send what's uh, fucking option to just teleport away. <laughs> He just <laughs> looks at you at once you yell, and then you see him disappear. He's gone now. Well, yeah. that's problem solved. Just, nope. And then just got the moment. <laughs> Starts yelling. Well, as you yell that, somebody pipes up. Well, uh, there's a place. Lies are uh, uh, over here. It oversees the pines. Could you repeat that, good sir? The <laughs> lion's the overseer of the mines. This way, it. And where can we find him? I'm not going to do that because that voice anymore because it seems that it's very difficult to hear. Mm -hmm. It's it funny. Sounds like it's difficult to make. Like, oh, it's very easy like, to make. <laughs> it's very easy. To make. Yeah, it's make very easy. It better, really. No, just make him French. <laughs> Yeah, was a monsieur. Where can we find um, this place again? Not mine. Says the uh, says says the uh, so, so just apparently the stool is talking. Because Martin's not here. The stool is the, the stool is talking to him. Or, oh no! Ignores I'm him. He ignores you. He thinks that somebody's talking to him. So, like he's imagining something. Uh, he's so a small dick. I feel fire. What? That that there. Fireball, fireball. I don't have it yet. Yet. <laughs> Thank you for being half caster. I have something better. <coughs> A scorching ray. Good berry. <laughs> I mean, he does have a circle. It might be the circle of scorching ray. I mean, if you ask him, <laughs> you're not here. Okay, the the chair is top I'm not hallucinating, him? okay? I'm not having heat strokes. Okay, Where okay. do you find him, good okay, sir? Okay. okay, the bit is good. The bit is good. Now let's expect that finish this conversation. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say this normally, so it's more clear. He is often found in the Mining Guild Hall. Not too far away from like where we currently are. Just outside of town. Around... If you go north and northwest, you should be able to find it. Big house my, has a lot of mining equipment outside. Oh, well, great. Yeah. Thank Let's you. go there, Petrovic, uh, as I try to grab your hand and drag you. <laughs> what do you ask? What's your business, yeah? Another person, pipe shop. I don't know. They just. I know, actually. Did you need to talk to him? what happens to Martin after that info is gained. <laughs> a letter from the Chancellor of Treasury. Funny joke, isn't it? No. Yes, not look at him. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, right. Now. It just moves on to something else. <coughs> so I oh. am dying. Well, then we game it out. You've been no. dying. Yes. You are Actually, melting. Yeah. <laughs> melting. Good sir. We are here for um. We actually want to invest in specific places, and one of the mines being one of the places we'd like to invest and invest in. Um. As he slowly takes some parts of his armor, it reveals that it's it's one big it's like actual like black suit. 
um, this is a just in case procedures. You know, can never be not weary enough. You know. You are making me play too clean. Why do, why do you wear that armor in the desert? You never know when something can attack you. You just see, you just. I've see. been fighting a lot of sand snakes recently. You just see. Yeah, yeah. Um, you hmm? just see people which want to make a passive aggressive remark, but he's not better. <laughs> <laughs> just the old approach opens his mouth, Martin. He's like, you want to say something? No. You out of all people? Okay. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> I only want some out of this desert. So. I guess we so go there. Get... First of all, Kabia, can you please make me a. Wait, what's your passive perception, Kabia? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Did you do rabbit? Kabia? Or... You mean. Kibaya, uh, fucking keep Thank you. Kibaya, yes. you say Kibaya, I was like, who, who the fuck Kibaya. is this? Kibaya, Kibaya, Kibaya. I heard Maria. I heard Kebab. Kebab. Hey, I think Rock needs a loss. Hey. Yeah. Um, Kibaya. my passive is for some strange reason alone. I wonder why. Mm. Not alone, I guess. Hey, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thankfully it is not that, you know, you know what, it, thankfully it is not that, but it is. So, you don't notice anything. Good. Yes. What do you wish to do, everybody? Do you wish to continue here, do you want to explore, or do you wish to go to the, and go to the guild hall and find the overseer? I mean, I should probably just straight up go to the guild hall. Put on, spook, put on like the helmet for spooky arm and, and just start going into there. Of course, on yeah. horseback. Why walk? I also That's like awesome. to. I also like to imagine that when Petrovich walks like outside, uh, as he, after he moves his leg, there is a bit of snow that he then just immediately melts. <laughs> A nifty trick. Uh, stop leaking on my carpet. No. Why are you pissing? <laughs> <laughs> stop pissing all over the place. This is why I can't have a good time in my life. You're sure it's not because of the other thing? You are both things. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hey, actually, I wonder if this will work on you. It doesn't work on me. <laughs> <So, laughs> Cuz fuck it, it's one shot. I will take off my circlet. Nothing changes. Oh, Still God, the I same. Took. Still everything same. I will try, if Petrovich will allow me, to put it on his head. Oh, it's the same. It's it's the same. I know what you took. I know what you took. I quite literally gave that to you, dumbass. It was just a fucking circle of human perfection. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I literally gave it to you guys. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you three decide what the fuck happens if he actually loves it. No, I don't. This I don't decide anything. I don't think so. I think it's just set appearance. It's a set appearance, yeah. Uh, what's the, the description for the item? Uh, I have a funny idea. He just turns no. into a Kapia. I mean, hey, I mean, it usually Goodbye. it's a set appearance, but if it does, Goodbye. Yeah, Goodbye. Goodbye, then Goodbye. Goodbye. Sorry. I keep forgetting a big. Uh, but it's, it was Listen, funny. I pronounce it as Cabia sometimes, so you're fine. Goodbye. My thing is better. Pronounce it in English, please. I is an I, not E or something else. English. English, English. please. English. 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 Amish. So, okay. so, so does Petrovich just turn into Kabaya? I guess so, because I'm the fucking definition of that. <laughs> No, I mean, 
It's a sad mm-hmm. thing. Oh, oh, it needs a two man. Oh. Oh, great. Oh. Thank God. You quickly unattune it and attune to it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of yes. It doesn't work on you too. Shit. I got scammed. I think Are it's we... not magic. I, have, I don't think you know how magic items work. Anyway. It's just not magical, that's why. How about I try it? Sure, go ahead. Just toss it to you. You take off your helmet and put it on? I just pop the two men. So you're going to take spend the next 10 minutes? Just like trying to figure out how this thing works. <laughs> yeah. At first, nothing really happens. But if you start on your way towards Theo, Zier, and like, he still like has it on his head, he's like trying to fiddle with it. And soon, you ju- instead of seeing Vampy Vamp, you just see Kabia. Kabaya. 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 It's not Kabaya. Icelandic, it's Kabaya. Fucking Kabaya. 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 Let's see Kabaya. Cabbage Kabaya. Cabbage Kabaya. And there's still the mouth. Wait. Hey. Hello. Oh, you me now. That's interesting. My name is Cabia. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 your long lost twin. Listen, we're in the middle of a desert. I'm trying to make it funny as I turn to the item. Turns back into your normal everyday self. For now. Uh, for now. <laughs> I mean, I can turn to a lot of different things. Turns Ooh. out the thing was cursed. Now you're going to turn into Kabaya every Instead of like, Nope, I just, I just get Kabaya disease. <laughs> There's slightly a difference. Yeah, there's a slight difference. So, as you head your way towards the over, to where you think that the overshare, or we're told the overshare might be, it is still blustering hot, even though there's some sort of temperature regulation here. But even though only one person actually feels it. <laughs> And as you walk down the street, you see merchants calling over the crowd, trying to call for their, say, trying to just as loudly say that their wares are the best, or something along those lines. You know, the classic merchants pitch. And you just continue forward, see all kinds of sights, quite beautiful sights. As you look up, Look south, you see what looks to be a ginormous tree out in the distance. It is shown on the map. And to the north, you see a pretty sizable, ha- sizable town hall esque building. Outside of it, all kinds of pickaxes, explosives, completely unsecured, and all kinds of fire starting equipment all over the place. Wow, fire safety is great in this place. I suppose that's right. Do we have to? I have a job and I do need gold for a project of mine. Oh, want to build the project? No. No. Okay. You <laughs> suck at human interaction. Proud because you aren't, but I. What did you say? I said you suck at human interaction, and I just realized neither of us are human. You suck. You suck at social interaction. Imagine, I've been living in a mountain. Twenty years, guess, and I am sixty years old now. Oh gosh, you're young. Oh, fuck. 
peak time for a snowman. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're not immortal. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I... Yeah, I remember the time before the last steps where that was fun. I technically am immortal, but if I melt, I will die. Mm, one thing. I mean, I... since we're all telling each other's our age... Cabbage, do you want to go first? <laughs> yes, I forgot to pronounce it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, what? Uh, I was how just admiring the fireworks. Just... Yeah, happy to hear that. Well, how old are you since we're all sharing information? I don't know. Never counted. I'm surprised you're even alive, to be honest. Me well, too. What are we told to find out if someone is autistic? <laughs> okay, what is autistic? DM, apparently nothing. <laughs> What? <laughs> what do I need to roll to find out if a person has a mental illness that has something to do with a with like Alzheimer's or something, either memory or just um special needs? Uh, uh, <laughs> perception might work. Insight or insight? Let's say. Medicine inside. There's a woodwork, it probably in so, uh, some sort of way, but it isn't a public, public thing. Let me think. Religion. Sure, why not? I'm thinking you want to no. roll 1d20. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no way, natural 20, Robin. <laughs> so, what is the great power of true faith? Tell me. <laughs> I believe you are autistic. You are now. The or Orko just comes by and says, Yes, he's autistic. Bye. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's stupid. I, I regret making him buy. He's calling somebody with the same intelligence, stupid. You two have the same intelligence. You're completely different. I would One of say. Us over a thousand years old. I would say what you get is you get two things. You get his age is around around thirty to forty ish. You don't know exactly. That seems about right. And what else you get? Uh, this man was probably so deprived of fucking interaction with anything. He's just happy about everything. Hey, Kambaya, can you tell us where you lived? Yeah, and Fisea. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he goes down, down, and it's like, he does, like, what you do to kids. Like, you go down and he's like, hey, can you tell us where you lived exactly in Fisea? Yeah? Did you talk to a lot of people? Uh, at the marketplace. I lived with them. There was, there's marketplace, and not, not too far away, there's, like, you know, a shelter for, for some people that doesn't oh, have homes. Right. Yeah, did you live there? I just, I just, wait, I just want to point out something. The one shot when, where we went to Faisea, just me and Rabbit, we mm -hmm. needed to find a guy in blue cloak, and I just noticed this fucker <laughs> is wearing blue. <laughs> that's, that's so true. Story. No, this is Lord Bustain, confirms. <laughs> oh no! Goodbye, is the son of the son of uh, Lauren Dustman. <laughs> <laughs> when he was born, he already had a mustache, so the son of Lord clearly thought he had a birth defect and threw him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that DM confirmed that, let's continue. And now. Okay, so he's probably half your age. So it looks like I'm the oldest, okay. And it, I don't really know. No, but I'm gonna rub it in your face. I don't know. So, yep, we're, we're just going there. Right? <laughs> More narration, please. Okay, then. As you get in there. It is, it is pretty packed full of people. There are 
people of kinds all kinds of species, all kinds of uh, backgrounds. All of them seem to be in a mess hall esque environment. They're all eating, they're all talking to each other, greeting each other. I still have another message. <laughs> because that was a misclick. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Deception. I deceive and God. There are I really do on daily basis. There are approximately four ro rows of uh like of tables that go from one side of the entire like uh hall to the other side. All of it's fully packed with all kinds of people. This is it. In the, and around the middle, there seems to be one table reserved for one specific individual. He is eating alone. He's still talking to everybody else. He's talking over his food, talking and yelling, but mainly because he is separated. And seems to be having a good handle time. He has the least amount of manners and he's in a corner. It seems like he's important. Nobody here has manners. People are throwing food. <laughs> I'm quite sure I don't get in the crossfire, so I'll kill someone. Really, how can you just my a shield? As and people can actually hit me. As if. And as. And as you walk inside, and you see this all. You see a few people look at you. And just stare at you. The man in the middle, he he does not notice you at all. And he's he seems to be human. He's very similar looking to Kabaya. Like he's same build, different hair, different like main check. face. Okay, what kind of on who? You said he seems to be human. Okay. Wrong phrasing. I want to see if that man's human. If someone seems You're... to be a race, then that brings suspicion. Okay, sure, go for it. <laughs> okay, karma. He is not human. Whatever this is, it's 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 something that is fooling you. You are hundred percent sure of this. It is something else. It is might be a mimic, might be anything. It is not human or humanoid. As as I see it. This is what Martin is mumbling while staring deeply at this man. Okay, that's uh I guess that's who we're looking for. I'll just see. I'll see you. I'm assuming you walk towards him. More people some some other people, some of the people that were throwing food begin to look at you, just staring. Some kind of seem to like move a little bit under under like on their table. What is your? Can you please make me a insider perception? Up to you. What was? Any anyone that wants to. I think a perception. I rolled a nine. That's a seven. Sixteen. You have great perception. No. Hey, you're very. Good. Yeah, you. You, you have expertise, expertise, don't you? It's all yes. Ah, uh, yeah, that means you're uh, anyway the same wisdom. <laughs> as you as you start walking towards the person in the middle, you can see a few people start to take their food and clump it up while looking at you. And... Right. Are you gonna try to intimidate them with that or can no. I try to intimidate them? I, it is a threat, but it's not Intimate, not really intimidated, just don't. Oh, you know okay. when your parents tell you, yeah, you can do this, even though they clearly don't want you to when they're intimidating you? It's not official, but there is, it's the sign. Can I actually try to intimidate them by just, you know, like almost a neck snap to my left and just stare at them or right? Yeah. Go for it. Advantage, please. No. <laughs> oh. no. Uh, um, fine. You are doing. <laughs> Cabin, please, you wanna help? Yes, sir. Goodbye. You wanna what? You wanna help me make everyone be respectful of us? 
I'm not just picturing Kavai as just <laughs> just looking off into space, just thinking about. I'm just <laughs> looking like, at everything and admiring everything. That's just Kavai. Mm hmm. <laughs> Kamaya just looks into one spot, just what's going through his head, just The void of space is a vast expanse He's actually secretly an incredibly, incredible genius, but only in one subject, that being astro astrophysics <laughs> <laughs> He's like a geologist, I, I would see Kamaya yeah. with rocks No, he wouldn't be a geologist, because that would be too obvious, because like he's been around it all the time And, you know, it'd be way too obvious, he'd just be something that isn't a field yet but he, if it was, he would be an absolute astrology. genius. No, but like the zodiac sign of astro astrology. That, that is astrology. Uh, astronomy is the actual like scientific thing, and astrology oh, yeah, is the astrology. Uh, yeah, astrology, astrology. It's just astrology. <laughs> I am a genius when it comes. To... I'm a genius when it comes to bullshit. Scorpion vibes. I can see Kamai doing that. Uh, hey, let's uh, go talk to him. Clearly, Martin yeah. is not um, trying to intimidate anyone. Because if he was, he's not going to have fun at all. Like, some people, like, some people do would, like, back down a little bit. But then you see some others begin to also fall to food. And uh, okay. all at once, like, they all look at each other and all at Clear once. Oh, okay, no. Seven okay. people. Yeah. Wait, what do you want to do? say something? Clear sign. He slightly lifts up his unsheathed blade. These people are not not the uh, most perceptive. So only one of them backs down. Six people try to throw food at you. Two, let's say three of them throw it at Vampiramp, two at Petrovich, and one in Ka uh, Ka Kabaya. Oh, I'm catching that food with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, I think we should give a use of advantage to that role, because he's trying to catch it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go, Kabaya first. Uh -huh. uh, you can actually, you can just be hit if you want to. You can. So. No, 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 I want to catch it, I want to eat it. It looks tasty. Make an, make an, want an to acrobatics to athletics. Catch. Make an athletics or acrobatics to try to see catch it. <laughs> 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 it might uh, only matter which one would be. <laughs> um, it would be 19 plus 1. Well, you perfectly. Um. <laughs> hey, hey, another one, another one. Um. <laughs> I'll just mark off a spell slot in the meantime. Okay, oh, okay so. Shield. Alright. Yeah. Oh, right, it's a to hit. I was like, could I use athletics to dodge? Because it's not official. But no, if it's a to hit, yeah. fine, why not? Have it is a to hit. He'd let it hit him, that's why I was lying that. <laughs> uh, okay, roll. So, let's do first. Uh, let's end with the snowman and see what happens there. Let's start with, or let's end in the middle of Vampy Vamp. Uh, that would be a. What's the plus? Uh, let's see. Zero? Um, there are my there's uh, there would have a plus, I would say One, let's say plus two, two plus two, two plus two. Like they're the standard like plus two. Okay, so one of them hits. The alright. The eight. Yep. Let's just say it's plus two. <laughs> <five>. um, <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> so you just take four damage from one of them. one of them. I'm sorry, I take damage? No, you weren't actually because it's food. So you just get fucking. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about and... to say, do I need to start throwing knives? No, he wouldn't take damage. I keep. Yeah, I forgot that he wasn't throwing a fucking. In person weapon. Hey, 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 technically. Wait, this if is. You compress it hard enough, if you compress it hard enough, it does count as an improvised weapon. Because you could uh, say they were balling it. They are balling it, but let's just say you are covered in food now. Or not covered, but you have quite a bit of food on your face. Where your face would be. Do we see a train anywhere? In or of anything? There are... There are, uh, not. Yeah, there are wooden trays everywhere. But let's... Before you do anything with that, I'm gonna roll for Petrovich. I... I wish none of them hit. None of them hit. None of them hit, yeah. Even well, without the shield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're just looking... I was really hoping for a natural 20. <laughs> that would've been funny. I have a Dementine, so it's fine. <laughs> it don't count, but it still hit. 
I am immune to critical hits. <laughs> It don't double that. See, do yeah, it doesn't do times two zero damage, but it does hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, zero they square. didn't hit. They, they didn't <laughs> hit even th with the shield. So yeah, without the shield. So, not, so they didn't hit the shield itself. They just hit like around, like around your legs. Like they didn't hit your legs. They just hit like the floor right in front of you. <laughs> and that wasn't completely unnecessary. They suck at aiming. Oh. Why am I? Oh, hmm. they did hit you. Apparently, you suck at dodging. Can I throw a plate at that man? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, I still have shield yeah. on. You can definitely no, not do a that. Petrovic, not a Petrovic, the guy that threw at me. Oh, wow. yeah, you can. I'm just gonna do it. You know <laughs> it, who it was, you know where it came from. You can just throw it at a random man. So, so you said you're gonna use strength modifier for it? It is your strength. It, well, I was using their dex modifier, but if you want to, uh, yeah, you have Whatever to you also use your dex, dex modifier. Dex? Okay. <laughs> I throw a knife. You, you just see the play, the, uh, first of all, you just see the tray just Oh, wait, does go it work forward, like an ice knife? Does it work like an ice knife because plate breaks? <laughs> what? Because when you shatter a plate, the pieces go the other way, depending on the impact damage. It's wood, so it wouldn't really shatter. It would maybe break like slightly, but it it wouldn't shatter unless you're putting like all your entire force into it. Yes, like... <laughs> clearly, Mark. <laughs> clearly. Yeah. But can you please roll me the damage for that one? Unless it, you have different price, then it would be your strength modifier plus one, I think. Like your um, one plus strength modifier. Uh, or it's just strength we're modifier. taking improvised. What is improvised weapons again? I forgot. Is it's, it just strength? I think it's just strength. Okay, Minimum okay one. then. Three damage. In, like right next to the dude that you are about to hit, you it just goes right past him and hits a table right like on the opposite side of it and it just embeds into it. Congratulations. And yes, it does break apart. It does not work like I said, knife. But it does break apart into like... Into shards on the ground. Oh. I failed. Hmm. Here we go now. <laughs> well, who are you? You're you dead if you throw another fucking piece of food at me. Yeah, that's the dude that is in the middle. Oh. He didn't. He didn't throw any food. He just looks at you, smiles. Just, so who are you? People sent by the Chancellor of the Treasury from I don't know. They have something. Uh, uh, um, my I need a little. Need a little we were sent that. by Lord. Valer Varian, the Silver Thorned. I didn't bother remembering his name. I should. But Halen, High Chancellor of Treasury, Halen High Court. Alien? You forgot to say the cheese tax. <laughs> the cheese tags. The cheese tags. Tag. The cheese tags. <laughs> the cheese tags. Every time. Oh well. Uh, yes. <clears throat> you are the ones well, to try to help us clear out some areas to expand the mines into a rumored new vein. And as he says, the new a new rumored new vein. A bunch of chairs come up from the people. It's the size of you. Also from the dude that you almost killed. <clears throat> Uh, so loud. All right. So, are you ready? Yes. Mm. All right. Come on, come on, come on. So, uh, oh, hey, you. What's that? Uh, Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Bye. And some motherfucker. <laughs> and so what? 
Are you ready? Handsome, handsome motherfucker. Oh, said. handsome. Yeah, I am handsome. Hey. I even brought my own pickaxe for yeah, this yeah. Uh, expedition. <laughs> Get yourself a room. Both of you. What? Work fast. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. My, I just said you're a very nice person to talk to. Oh, I know that. That is a lot. <laughs> Oh, I know oh, that. Like... <laughs> of course, you know. He's already walking outside of the room. Like he's walking back outside where you came from. I, just... I stared down at the thing I believe is Asmodeus incarnate or Cthulhu. Not too sure. He kind of just stares up, just like kind of confused, and he kind of like walks or like walks. Full armor in on, that... so it just looks, so full armor on, so it just looks like I'm normally glaring at him. But if he can see through it, it's just heightened blood red eyes. He looks at you, it's kind of like, kind of uh, comforted by that, and it's kind of like, instead of just walking a straight line, he walks in like a arch to one of the tables and and goes back to the uh, same arch that he was in. Kind of like a, I'm just trying, I, wait, this is the wrong one. He just like, he comes just avoids you all. He just looks at you and just and he goes, I guess I'm taking a detour. We're taking the scenic route. Also, you two look handsome. Oh, I know. <laughs> he kind of takes this kind of devil. Oh, thank you. Because you are one. <laughs> was that? What was that? I said, let's go. Okay. So, first, we're going to need some uh, tools. You brought your own? Uh, you did not, I'm assuming. Who points at the uh, armored behemoth thing? If it's for mining, I believe my Bathurst should do. It's true, we can use him as a ram if we have to. Okay. I'm about to use you as a snow cone. Mm, I doubt that would work. Hey, hey, we're all here on the same team. I'm not What's on your team as Modius. Huh? Let's continue. Oh, okay. So, first of all, we're going to need some explosives, some pickaxes, maybe a little bit of manpower. And like, uh, not just you, like with this, uh, with the back of his uh, shoulder. And not shoulders, but like, what's it again? We will lose the kaboom? Explosives, that's something I can get behind. We will oh, use the kaboom! Do not let, <laughs> do not let him anywhere near. <laughs> Explosives. He will eat them. He has a birth defect. He might eat them. You're right, but gosh. Mm. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. It seems, it seems like everyone here has a birth defect. Snow cone, demon monster person thing, and... Say that again, I hear you. Demon monster thing. Okay, <laughs> let's make a small unarmed slap. Never mind, my damage might kill him. Um... Just a normal slap, because my non attacks might kill him. Oh, roll to hit. It is strength, uh, so it is, it is a standard unharmed melee attack, so it is strength. Yes, but I wanted to do no damage if possible, or else I might uh -huh. actually kill him. Yeah. Oh, hell. <laughs> that is a natural one. You try to slap him, but you still like are kind of hesitant due to your belief that this guy's a devil, so you like... <laughs> kind of put half your stuff into it, but then you you're also kind of unnerved by the sand, as you aren't very used to it. So and you also, like the armor's clanky, you know, because it's not the best of moments. I will and stuff. add to this moment, as you try to slap you, I will just, hey, high five! <laughs> <laughs> you high five him! And... <laughs> yeah, you, you just see... Mopetro is slowly sinking further into the brush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. Also, nice. Anyways. But let's go uh, get the explosives. Uh, hey, they're quite heavy. Nice so... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm just okay, just reminded me yeah, that's so what's me. The lighting? So, so, what's the lighting here? <laughs> Would you say it's like somewhat dim, dim uh, enough? Inside it was pretty dim, but not outside that where you currently are, it is pretty bright. 
Where is it dark outside? It it's not dark outside anymore. You waited for hours. <laughs> you waited for hours. It's it's not as bright as it was before, but it is. No, it is. Oh, no, it's light. It's not dark anymore. Like, okay, you just see him take a step back and just disappear in embarrassment. And then just after come back. And you realize you, you go full Alcryl. <laughs> Horse is named Zachryl. Hey, nice guy. <laughs> he kind of asks, so... Could you help me uh, carry these explosives? I'm more of a tracker myself. I don't really do any more of a weakling. I do have a carriage. Yeah. Oh, that would be very useful. We can only use it for a little bit because once we get into the actual mines themselves, it will be less practical, uh, spacious. Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, still something. <laughs> I wish full walker all I can lie. That, that's what uh, what Alcaril would say in that point. Not gonna... No, that's what Rakan would say. You mean Rakan, yes. Same guy, both of them are twins. Both twins, yeah. I <laughs> mean, yeah, fair enough. That's the joke that gets you. That's the joke, really. <laughs> really. Oh, as I'm you... proud of myself. Why as can't you... I steal your card? Uh-huh, you can't I mean, Trust me, no, I was trying to steal Revan's card for two hours, that's how I gained the card. No, I'm not hey. talking about your card, I'm talking about Warrior's card. Why can't I steal his card? Well, you actually need to try to steal Revan's card for three hours and then you obtain mine. Hey, probably a rapid here's my card, one of my cards. No, hey, you already have a card. card. You have one of my cards. Why does he get a card? <laughs> you... How dare you? You stole my car. Now. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> and by she, I mean Metna when she meant Chica. You're not supposed I mean, to yeah. be here. Get away. <laughs> that are straining for the from the death play. Get away. I will, I will make a restraining order on you. I mean, that's technically what happened in very weird terms. It's the death plane makes a restraining order against Jacob. I mean, if you do ever show up there again, she will not let you leave. Where does he get 10 cards? Anyway. Anyways. Well, I don't know why he got 10 cards. What do you mean 10 cards? He has 13 now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't worry about that. They're terrorizing me with those fucking pop ups. Eric, <laughs> <laughs> but just try to steal it from him. He'll give it, up, give it eventually. <laughs> but anyways. So, uh, Petrovich, do you. Um, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Fine, you can have one. <laughs> Yo. But anyways. Do you, do you bring around the cart to try to help load the. Fucking kill the multiple, multiple, a dozen to maybe a few hundred kilograms of explosives onto your cart. Sure. I will also it's help. Not, it's not my cart anyway, so I don't have any attachment uh, to it. And while I'm helping, I will try to steal some of it. <laughs> Martin is just going to look, uh, look on quite literally his high horse down at them. I will kill your horse if you don't help. I fucking dare you. Do you really wish to test me? Have you please make me a sleight of hand with a, with an advantage to him going to do, be doing one thing? Advantage? I was only looking at the entire party, but okay, apparently he has advantage. <laughs> You're fucking at the focus on. I mean, if you want to uh, also look for other firm, then you, he can, you can't get rid of, get rid of his advantage if you want. You know, I think Martin would look at him to make sure he doesn't eat the sand. <laughs> Alright, do it with normal. <laughs> so I'm doing normal roll? Uh, yeah. Yes, normal. Yeah. Okay, so that was that. I'm gonna use... Power of Inspiration. 
And that's gonna be 13. Even more notices you. As, as you try to like put in, he kind of you can see him looking at you. He looks down. Kind of gives you a smile. Looks away. <laughs> Just smile back. <laughs> he knows. I know. We both know. Hey, Cabia. What? Mind showing me what you're what you're holding behind your back? What's in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, behind my back is just not, nothing. Just, I'm just carrying the explosive. That's it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and? can you get off your high horse and help us? I mean, you're the one that's not really helping us at all. Yeah, go help him. Fuck's sake. Huh. You, know, you know, even he's more helpful than you are. I'm okay, Ron, so, so is like the dynamite in crates, or like are they in big bundles? <laughs> it is like, it's an open crate, it's like it's not secured at all, like anyone could just walk by and just take a few, like, a few sticks and just walk away. And there would be nothing nobody could ever do to stop them. And it, every now and then when you look into the boxes, you can see a few, like, slots where it was, there was a bit of dynamite, but there isn't any more. You don't know if they used it, or if... Somebody just took it. I, I think at some point, uh, Petrovich would literally just do that. He would like take two sticks of dynamite and just put them in his bag. So I was about to or shove some in his armor. Please make everybody make this uh, a slight hand, but he, no matter what you roll, he's not going to stop you. He, you he's just no, going he's to. Not, no, he's not even hiding it. He's just very casual about it. He's, okay, so first one. Both of he like he looks at you, Mr. Van Bijan. At least try to hide it. And then he looks at you. At least try to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> he, no. he looks he looks at you and is like, You really think someone would try to stop me? Someone will. I don't care enough. I have matchsticks. We have a crate full of dynamite, we can blow you up. <laughs> I don't have a will to live, check me. Uh, oh, uh, hide what as I'm putting one with the dynamo sticks into my pocket? <laughs> you see, just staring at you. I'm not allowed to, I shouldn't give you these. But I'm being nice and I'm, I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to look the other way. Buddy, but buddy, if you're thank going to you this, for your kindness. Mind looking into my eyes for a moment? Do you see like something? I think I think some oh, he like slowly like moves up some part of someone. There's something in my can you see it? It he's like really stuck. And I can't I don't know where it has to make... do you see it? He's gonna I'm gonna ask you to make me a persu persu or persuasion or deception actually deception, because you are definitely fucking lying, I'm assuming. But he's not going I was going to give you advantage, but yeah. It's very irritating. It's he looks very irritating. It looks like do you see? Do you see something? Vampire charm. Yeah. Alright, what does that require? Oh, uh, thir uh, did you see 13 wisdom save? Alright, he has a plus 3. I cannot see anything, what is this? Okay, oh, fucking nothing friends. Happens. Oh. Nothing happens. It's fine for, to me. Really? Weird, weird. He's gonna put down, he's gonna put like the small little home party's gonna put down and start helping. <laughs> Meantime, okay, e extra two more. sticks while he was distracted. <laughs> <laughs> You should have adventure in that slide. <laughs> you, 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 you don't need to roll slide pad. He's not even, yeah, he's not even no, looking. He, he's not looking at you, so... He's just, you pocket another two stacks of dynamite. And he's like, hey... You are still like making it, like... There are still things missing, so he doesn't like notice a lot, like, if there are a few more missing, but eventually after you take a few more and more and more, he's going to notice, like, this entire box is completely empty. It was not empty when I, I put this here. Some, for some reason, this guy is just getting more fatter? This <laughs> puppy looks more bulkier. Too thick, and that's it. More than two yeah, you... <laughs> My pockets are full of dynamite sticks now. <laughs> I think at this point it should just stick out for you, Raffin. <laughs> so I think you do. Martin, 
He looks at you, he looks at his red sheet. Mine is in my armor, so it's yeah, like it's he... not visible. Yeah. No, okay. And then he Look looks at, at Ka Kabaya. Mine is in my bag, and I literally took two, two sticks. <laughs> yeah, it's so two, he, that's it. He doesn't like, he's not like disagreeing with that here. He's just look, he's it's going from, okay, the dude is hiding in his armor, it's pretty like well hidden. The dude has another one that has only two sticks in his backpack. And there's the dude that has literally dynamite sticking out of his fucking jacket, just sticking out of his pants, sticking out of his backpack, sticking out of everything. Hey, Kabaya, you want to see a magic trick? The fireworks. So, Kabaya, so you know you like the fireworks? I do. You want to make some more fireworks? Not for now. It's, it's too bright for fireworks. Oh, no, no. These ones are going to be bright enough that everyone will notice it. Trust me. I don't trust you. Mm hmm. Just wait until I step away far enough. <laughs> Anyways, no man, but just like they're big, they're gonna be beautiful. I mean, they're gonna be so bright that everyone sees them. Because it's, yeah, you said it's quite early in the morning, though it is like morning. It's, yeah, it's early. Like, it is. When you arrived right here, it was. When you arrived here, it was still like. It was pretty bright outside, but it wasn't like. uh, It wasn't day at all. It was like. You would say you arrived here around three, like no, uh, three, like around yeah, four, four or so. And right now, yeah, and you wait for I forgot a few seven. hours ago. It's you know it would be longer than seven. I would say you wait Nine? until around like around eight ish for Kabaya, uh, and then another hour later you came here. Okay, so it's like, around nine o'clock. Right? It's around okay. nine. So. The sun is actually starting to like really it's starting to really like, actually come out soon, very soon. Yeah, we we have to do this quickly though before the sun comes out, so because it's bright enough, because then it won't be bright enough. It'll be beautiful. I don't be so impatient, just wait for the night in the night. <laughs> it will be so bright. I don't know. Anyways, let's go keep spelling out your name. You could spell out your name, goodbye. Okay, anyways. He, but Elias has been like just he's been listening to this and he's just been putting more and more explosives onto the cards. Mark is and... likely gets, getting closer and closer each time he talked and then behind his back there's probably like a matchstick or something. <laughs> Elias <laughs> is like after he like like puts the last box in, help help probably being helped by Petrovich, he just looks at you and just says, Alright, let's go to the mines, uh, before any of this continues. Yes, apparently I'm the only one who is sane yeah. in this group. Yeah. So we got the looks, the muscle, and the actual intelligence here. Yes. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean I'm the muscle. Obviously. I'm the one. You're, you're clearly not the looks. Or I'm the not the looks. I, I'm a good bit since I tried hard enough. Mm -hmm. I'm the wise guy. But older, I'm older than all of you combined. Mm hmm. Boomer. And also, if you triple that amount. Okay, Your anyways. mental development is clearly lacking. Anyways. You're a snowman, okay? You're not one to yeah. I am a snowman with no brain, and I'm smarter than you. Let's go. Yeah, that's why you went to a desert. Alright, meet me at the mines. It's currently just go yeah. up the ridge. Go all the way up to the ridge. Uh, the highest point in the town, there is a little hole. That it should be large enough for this. Cards, I will meet you there in approximately 10 minutes. I need to get some last minute tools. Alright. Like, after you get there, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. And don't Damn. blow the town up. No, no, no. No problem. I'm lenient, I, but not that lenient. I promise I won't do that. Them, I don't know. Wait, actually, Petrich, I want to talk to you for a little bit. Mm hmm. No, I'll okay. visit. He only takes something out of his pocket and just says, We're not threatening to blow everything up quite yet. And he gives you approximately 20 gold pieces. <laughs> I... Mm, I will try to... I will try. Thank you. Now, uh, <laughs> wake on. Uh, Revan, fuck. Uh, how much oh, sticks... Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, you've been saying... How dare ke you? Kebia or whatever since... You know, you at least 12. <laughs> from what yeah, I've remembered. At least there was like three, like, still, still period of still being like pretty, like, 
isn't really that well uh, refined yet, so it is still like green pure, meaning that they are still quite large to get the same effect. But they are still very expensive. So you could get get like for each one, you could get approximately at least a few like a few gold pieces for each. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm asking how much fucking sticks do I have? Oh, I thought you were talking about the price, but no, you no. have approximately. If you're just filling up your entire, uh, your, as much as you can, you would have enough for room for like twelve before you have to use like your entire backpack. Like yeah, Fuck. approximately twelve, same as uh, Mr. Vampy Dump said. Okay, I will get twelve into my pockets and one into my mouth, so I have thirty. Uh, this is the people I'm working with. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like the person that is basically a cl like looks like your twin that looks at you and just also, has his mouth open. Got, okay, he just just booked it. He's not looking back. He's already going. Just to clarify things. He just rips out the you know what? At least hide it. But my pockets are already filled. Where do I hide it? I think, I think taking the dynamite out of his mouth is like trying to take, like walking with a dog and the dog eats something and just trying to take it out of his mouth. Trying to understand what the fuck that is. Yep. Well, the thing is, if even with a dog, you can't like kind of trick them into thinking that you aren't going to do it, then just immediately go for it so that they. Don't realize you've taken it if you're doing something really bad, and that's basically what he does. <laughs> okay, so he's basically a dog now. Basically, I, if he acts like a dog, he's like that's. I don't put explosives into your mouth. That's basically what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> okay, we'll put it in my. Pew. No. <laughs> I. Can't. Your ass, you. I'm used to rock and. So, yes, that's what I thought of you, so I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yes. He has the, the dam that he got out of your mouth to Petrich. Anyways, hey, just go before you... anybody sees you. Because people are still... not as perceptive as they are on, during the entire day. Go. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Or so, he fucking explodes himself. He is like in the beginning. He was like pretty. He was like, okay, yeah, that's gonna be fine. But he, and by the end, he's already fucking tired of you. <laughs> I don't think I want to work with those people anymore. Choose those people. Martin's long gone. <laughs> yeah. And it's you start on your way up. Eventually, you, you see uh, Mr. Vampy Vamp by the uh, the edge of a pretty sensible hole. What took you long that long? Babysitting. Yeah. That's why I left him to you. Hmm. The, the whole way, the I will I will just face. beg Petrovich to give me that one stick. Just no. Please, please, I beg you, I just need one more, one more, that's it. I'll be good. This, this has been going on this entire time since you left. Uh, I will not do anything oh, you're so bad. Brains. You at least have to deal with the dumbass. I... Uh, I just need 13 sticks, that's it. I suppose that's good for me when I build my city. Oh, that's what you're saving up for. Okay. 13 reasons why. Yes, that's the name of this one shot. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't really just say, oh, no, I don't want to tell you why I'm saving up for, and then just tell us. You know, that's quite illogical. I don't care anymore. Fuck off. This one's sick. <laughs> You want me to do the babysitting duty? This one. Yes. Take this one's mind. take. What? 
Just one stick. I will Mark's do anything for that one stick. stick. And then he's going to put it above his head. Like above Martin's head. Just come on, good boy. And since Martin <laughs> is six foot one plus whatever height the armor gives him, he's clearly taller. I would say the armor gives you a good three to four. It just like the boots are very heavy. Yeah, so we just make sure that I can reach come on. If you can reach this, it's yours. Go on, come on, just tackle it. Mm. I'm just gonna stare right below it. Reach my hand up. No match. That's that's no not match. reaching it. <laughs> Challenge accepted. And no match. No magic. I will bonus action rage and jump. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You rage and you jump. If I see him get close enough, I would like to do something to him. Go for it. Does he get close enough? Just raise it. I I would assume so. If he's jumping towards you, to jump and get away. Um, Martin's gonna turn into mist. So as you reach it, it's just, oh, it's just mist, and then it rolls. Oh, yeah. it's just mist. I want to ask, does everything you're, you're wearing, and so I would assume everything you're wearing is also because mist, but also everything you're carrying. Yes. Okay. That's what yep. so much. Good fit. Petrovich at that point just went to do the fucking job. Yeah. And Marn is slowly flying there to the mist. I'm assuming that uh, Petrus, you just walk into the mines, just like leave them out there. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Oh, uh, I, thought, I thought the guy was in like the um the wagon. I didn't know he was going up by foot. What? I, I didn't know. I thought Kabai was in the um wagon because it's probably a long like, time to get up the hole. I would assume so, but I'll let it get off once he gets to you. There's some mad, but that is up to Kabaya. <laughs> mm. So, okay, so what happened? I jump, you turn to the mist, and you just fucking float away. Uh -huh. That motherfucker, he said, no I magic. Have a, I have a feeling Raven had a lot prepared for this session, for this one. Yeah, I have, I have half an hour left until I have to go. <laughs> so I'm trying to move it on. <laughs> okay. Unmystify, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're speeding up the process. Dying I won't away. go if you don't Ooh. give me that stick. You little shit. I throw it, I throw it into the crate that Petro is holding. I'm just booking for it. <laughs> and then I use a grapple attack. Wait, actually, no, I, um... Hey, what's your, uh, what's your AC, buddy? <laughs> is it above oh. 11? It is above 11. I have horrible rules. Yeah, you just all right. Multi that win. Twenty-four. What is that? Autograph. That, that I have is... autograph. I don't need to. I just autograph. Do you see the, well, the map that I put down? Uh, yes. I also yes. saw you just make it completely uh, black. Good. Because I don't have time to <laughs> fully go into it, so I'm just gonna make it like this, and I'm just gonna add whatever happens. Uh, happens. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I basically so, pick him up and start in on my horse, and I just start walking. Just above, I'm just holding him like you hold a baby kitten. It's by the uh, neck, and we just go. I'm just, I'm just trying to bite onto your arm over that. Isn't that the fact? <laughs> and I guess Petro is just in the. Uh, I forgot the word. Mine. Yeah, just Petro is just for. Uh, further in the mine, just having a mental breakdown because he's working with two morons. Hey, I'm babysitting, okay? This is the best that I got against this dog. Mm. Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> Why is so... Martin fucking dumbass called the dumbass? He's trying his best. <laughs> as, as you enter the mines, you start, you start here. I think this one this one shot might turn into a mini campaign. <laughs> I I really do that might actually be the fucking case because fuck Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Why my token <laughs> is invisible? 
Uh, yes. Okay, I have yet to reveal the area. I'm trying to reveal wait, the area. Wait, Why you set the map as a token weapon? I did not. Yes, you did. No, yes, I didn't. Did. I put on advanced fog of war, uh, of war, and that's what. There is no there. fog of war. We see everything. We see the whole map. Yeah, we see the map, map but the token map. is below the map, basically. Yeah, you made it. You made the map a token. I think. No, the map is a map. Mm. I'm li literally in the map thing, and now I can move it. Yeah, I can't tell. Where is the fog of war if we see everything? He removed it. There. Yeah, I, I removed it. Yeah, that's that is Yeah, I saw how you removed it, so yeah, it is removed, but I don't know why our tokens are just not on the map, but below the map. Okay, guys, better idea. Wait, I have an idea. idea. No, 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 I have, I have a better idea. Basically, this is Martin. Oh no, the drawings go under. <laughs> France. Why isn't this working? Your front. Yeah, back. <laughs> I'm in pain. Why isn't this working? Okay, I'm making a new map. <laughs> hey, Ron, what's up? Hmm? Hey, um, you can delete if you want to also delete this one to see what I drew. I, I saw what you drew. I can see perfectly fine. We can't. Yeah, you can't. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> no. I have five. Uh, no, sorry, not five minutes. I have thirty minutes or twenty-nine minutes. This is going perfect. Once of all, you said you had an hour. Okay. <laughs> uh, I had an hour thirty minutes ago. You had your five minutes. Ago, you said you had an hour. I don't have an hour. That's if I said an hour, then I misspoke yeah. because I literally do not have an hour. I make okay, food. Just pull up the map. <laughs> Let's speed it up. Let's cut out half. <laughs> We're gonna cut out the unneeded cutscene. There you go. Okay, oh, map. it's working. There you go. Fuck the cast. That Peter. Now he's going. <laughs> yeah, you are currently in your list. In the cards. This might not look like it's large enough, but it I trust me, it is. It's made out of stone. <laughs> inside check. <laughs> Make an inside check, fuck you. Do it. On the guy. Fuck it. 19. It's fake. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> let's see. Let's do this. Uh, uh, I can actually just get a fucking... Hey, who knew? There's another copy here. This, this is him. Hey, Revan, Revan, why don't we speed it up? I want to actually fight something. Yep, okay. So, he returns, he tells you, okay, let's go forward. You go forward. He leads you to an area in these mines. It is... I still have time, like, I have 30 minutes, but... Let's see. Leads you to an area that is... The area that is thought to be the housing of the the veins, which is right around here. Dark, cramped, very lightly illuminated area. That, as you look around, and if you have dark vision, you would see... <laughs> you'd see on the walls faint glimmers. And... Some of you would be familiar with it if you had done research on the area. It looks like volca like almost glass-like, but it's incredibly dark. And some places here are... These look like they might be obsidian. Or fallen glass. Ah, great. And if once you go further inwards... Where you you like you get the cart over here and then you can't bring it anymore. As you go further inwards, you see more more glimmers of many different materials, from gold, gems, and but Petrovich, you would be familiar with it, adamantine. Oh, metal. Oh. Hmm. Metal. Both types. I would be familiar with the mithril. I'm literally yes. wearing it. 
Yes, it will be both familiar. There's in this this area seems to be just the absolute gold mine of these two materials and what looks to be volcanic glass and it seems to be there might be a little bit of gold. That's the four of combo. That's good. That's a good That's waste of mine. Yes, now you know what we why we needed you. But we've heard some rumblings behind this here wall, and we want to make sure that there's nothing unforeseen. So please, everyone help me set up these explosives. We're going to blast the shit out of it. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> That's my job. Away. We've made okay. sure that we made sure that this place won't collapse. It should be uh, stable for at least around f fifty kilograms of tea of uh, uh, dynamite. Every should be that we could stretch it to one hundred kilograms, but it's very much nuts. Uh, fifty is a good number. Fifty. So please, everybody, help me set it up. Mm -hmm. And no fucking funny business. This place is fun. He just looks at Kabia. Uh, what? Don't eat the explosives. No, 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 better question. Explosives. No, 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 better, better thing. Do not be yourself. <laughs> be as helpful as this fox. He points hey. to this beautiful little fox, Elizabeth. Hey, actually, the, the TNT guy. The job is to get the facts. I don't the have you know. The she... I don't have you know. Elizabeth is a very dangerous. Okay. I can tell. She's not normal. She's made of metal. Or yeah. she's not. Oh, shit. That's, that's I, why I said that. Can okay. we, your new, your new job is to pet the fox. Okay? I will shoot him. Tell it not to. Listen, I'm not trusting him with dynamite. He actually might eat it. I just set up. He will, he, will, so. he, will, he will start setting up dynamite while One does the same. looking so this fucking moron doesn't eat dynamite. <laughs> he will also uh, place he will also place only one of his two sticks of dynamite in there. Alright. Just put this down. Okay. And she starts the process of collecting all the piece, all back. the boxes of dynamites and put them down until you reach approximately fifty kilograms. Uh, he... Can we make something extra? Oh, sure. Well, apparently, we're here now. First of all, is Kabai helping with it, right? I would assume so. Is Kabai helping with it? Okay. <laughs> 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 Really, Do you allow Kabaya to Kabaya. help? It's either helping or sabotage. Do we allow <laughs> Kabaya to help? Does Kabaya no. look like they're trying to help? Kabaya will do two things. First of all, help you. Then of all, while helping, take one stick to himself, so he has 13 sticks. Oh fucking Christ, there's realize why you know 13. <laughs> I didn't realize until now. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> and third of all, make it... I will do some math, actual math, to make it so it's 52 kilograms of dino. Dinosaur? If you remove a stick of dynamite, it becomes 52 kilograms of dynamite. I will add extra to make it 52. <laughs> we need exactly 50 kilograms. 52. Uh, I know why you want that, you little shits. Yep. <laughs> I know, I know. Get more of it. I know. Uh, fuck. You know what? Yeah. You put down 52. Oh, fuck. And he starts uh, making the wire, brings it all back. Alright, everybody. Get the fuck back. So you think force goes back. Wait, what? Uh, you are not... So... Who wants to do the honors? As... Who wants to do the honors? As he puts down a little, uh, a little like uh, a fuse. Um, and... Anyone can mess this up. So, lights the fuse. Do you light the fuse? Yes. 
I will just because you light it up and you carried me. I'm gonna use firebolt to light the fuse for the way down. So it's you know. <laughs> just Please spare only an attack. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> just the spite of further. Just the spite of combat. Can I throw yeah. a match further? It would be funny if you rolled the natural one. <laughs> It would be funny because right. I almost Can did. I make an uh... hmm? Can I make an improvised attack to throw a match further down than he throws the firebolt if the yes. firebolt hits? You can try. Like... With the, yeah. If you have disadvantage, because you he's th he's shooting probably around here. You're trying to shoot it here, and you don't really have a lot of you know yeah. sight there. So you you can do it with disadvantage. Also, Gabriel, what did you roll? Does eleven hit? I would say, yeah. Nine. I would say, yeah. Nine, that, that, that would miss. <laughs> and I would like you to roll me a d4. Okay. And last but not least, as the fire burns out, the one that Kabea started. A few moments go by, and nothing happens. This seems very anticlimactic. The moment someone looks into there, it's going to explode. Good. Yo, look. You're expandable. Okay, let's use I command on this. I, I would like to please make, the, make uh, one of you make my D100 check. I'm not doing that. I have, I have horrible luck with that. And it needs to be public. Well, how uh, work kills activated within three yeah, mile yeah. radius? Okay, so uh, the chaos surge. As you say, oh, if somebody goes in there, it's going to explode. A loud explosion forms out. And you don't know how, you don't know why. But you see fire begin to spread across support beams. And they are getting closer. They start here. And they're getting closer. You just You know how? You know why? You said this would be you And they don't go to the cards. They probably just take a step back because fire and snowman don't mix. It just um. looks like it's okay. So it was a very bright idea push to the push, the card, push the card. Push the card. Push the card. Okay, please make me an athletics check. As you try to match. crush it with your hands. Oh Christ! Take advantage because the horse is also trying to somewhat nudge it to the best of its ability. Make me Anna, and we'll have link to see if they, uh, <laughs> they do that. Before do you, you go there, I will do uh, guidance on you. It? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't so work. with the it's guidance. Like D four. Uh, one D four. <laughs> 22. 22. 22. And you... This is a pretty heavy card. I would say you would be able to move it, but not a lot, but you'd be able to move it around here, and you'd be able to turn it around like this. You, so you that see, is facing um, this direction. I'm gonna actually feel it differently. You see Martin's eyes just become a void as he just pushes it to an extreme, because I have something that gives me expertise, and it's tech, because I'm a vampire, so... She's like, some, she's like, one of the gold pieces starts levitating or something as he's pushing it. Alright. As you do that, you... Elias just says, oh fuck. Uh, I would suggest we get out before this place collapses. A good idea. He just, uh... As he casually walks away. Dynamite could Martin quickly take before um how much, probably, you, how much could it carry? So I would say you can carry as many boxes as your modifier has. So around three. Three boxes. Full boxes. Three boxes are... and then boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And you see Kabiba, as you walk... Kabiba, You want another dynamite stick? Come on, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have thirteen. That's enough for me. <laughs> I... I can give you 13 boxes if you get out here. As Continue, you leave, not... you, uh, Elias, Elias is not moving with you. He seems to have gone somewhere else. And you move and move 
and move. Please, everybody, make me a straight D20. And what? And we'll take the average. Just a make straight me a straight D20. And you're going to take the average. What, what 18, does that mean? 12, what do you all expect at? 18? Four. Oh, thank you for lowering the average. 18 plus 4, 1. What's the other one? 12. 18, 12, oh, 4. 34 divided by 3. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I love yeah, it. so... We die. Hmm. I guess why. Okay, so I cast invisibility and just leave. Oh. That's oh. I am the... As... Who was the last one to leave? Uh, I think Petro should be the first one. Because he just um, literally just left immediately. I think Rampy? Because he took the boxes? Yeah, he took the boxes. <laughs> because I thought that was Cabia, but apparently that was the other guy. I thought that was Cabia that, was that wasn't that was wanting to leave. He it's looks just him. like him. Yeah, so... You would see him, he's just... He's trying to stop like the fire and stuff for everything from fucking collapsing. Yeah, so Martin... And and as you're running, you hear a loud it's explosion. Easy. Yeah, pause. And this is you did reduce the hit by quite a bit because you took around a Three. fourth of the entire of the all the boxes. Oh, 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 firebolt. Let's use firebolt out of spy. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ah, yes, let's throw a match. Well, this would be about nine times larger than multiple. Uh, yeah, nine times larger than fireball. I would get take your take. You would be kind of. Let's make up throw a torch. It's nine big. times larger. Wait, what's nine times larger? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Let's say fireball has a range of twenty-five. Twenty-five. 25. So, is it 25 no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. I would say five times then, at max. So one hundred. Yeah, about one hundred and fifty feet. No, one hundred twenty-five feet. I'd say. Okay, so yeah, that that, that hits. A... <laughs> and it yeah. doesn't. I don't think that hits me. That does from the, from the explosion range, right? Revan just. No, that doesn't hit your fox. Yeah, it hits you, but it doesn't hit your fox. No, if it's uh, if it's five times twenty, is it twenty-five? Is, twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five is the. Uh... I thought fireball was thirty. Listen, fireball. I'm not a... is... <laughs> I do not know fireball. Wait a minute, how do I not know fireball? I've been casting. It's yeah, it's twenty feet. Twenty feet. Okay, so every. I believe then that means that. Yes. I, I would say then. Gets, I think it gets everyone but me. No, it only gets it only gets one no. person. Who is no, this? It's me. It only gets me. you. Yeah, it gets. Uh, yeah, you are the last one, and you oh, get. No. Make me make this oh, same thing no. As this large fireball and shockwave approaches you, in such a speed that you cannot, you blink and it's here, basically. I no, I I don't like the fact that he's uh, carrying four boxes of dime. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me of that. <laughs> oh, the ripple effect. Okay, yep, well, and that's what, about. I I need to know the DC. Does this beat the DC? I would I'm say. For my... Does no? I'm not asking for more. Just does this number beat the DC? I. I would say Dynamite. just barely. Okay, so the horse takes zero damage at all. Uh, zero. Uh, because that one was the roll for the horse. And Martin gets halved, I guess? Martin gets halved. But it's still uh, a lot of fucking damage. And it's I'm just okay. saying, I'm it's, okay. Okay. it's okay. It's okay. I have extra points in depth. I got extra. I got a modifier for depth saves. Okay. I don't think you're going to say death saves, buddy. Let's see. <laughs> so it was about five times that much. I would say that it's. Let me look up Fireball again. <laughs> Ten mm. times. <laughs> it, 
This would be force Fireball. damage, since it is... Fireball is 8d6 uh, damage. Yes. T said times and... 5, not times 5 the dice. <laughs> no, it's not times 5 the, the, the dice. I would just say it would probably be 8d a higher dice. 8d12? 8d100? Yeah, I'd say 8d12 <laughs> is an uh, accurate one. Let's make it as flat. Yeah, and then there's plus the ripple effect, of course. So this is the initial damage. And from the ripple effect, which I would say that the rest of the party is able to get behind uh, cover before. No. I don't. If I want, if if there's a way to make them also take the damage, Martin would try to do that. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. Everybody, please make me a dexterity saving throw. That's Martin. Been telling me that for the entire session. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay then. And. Hell, great, thank you. I will die. This is just going to be a. F I would say this was just a fireball. Like, equal damage to fireball onto you, as this is not the entire stockpile. I, I will still probably just die. I don't have a lot of health. Mm -hmm. 12. Yeah, that, that's not enough. That's 29 damage extra. Um, DM? That are my death saves rolls? Oh, yeah. Um. You take an yeah, but you do also take an extra twenty nine damage on top of that. Oh and... well, it's not double my total hit points, so it's. Sorry. Wait, wait, is it? Let me let me do some check. How much did you say you take extra? Twenty three. Uh, you take. Yeah, yeah, twenty nine. Yeah, take extra. Uh, twenty nine extra. Will... There's forty one, right. sixteen, twenty three. Yep, six. yep. No, it's not double my max HP, so I'm, I I I still roll death saves, and holy, that is a good number. Damn. Huh? Alright, and the rest of you? You I also am take. Alive. You are now. alive. As you all are alive, one of you is severely wounded. Well, actually, everyone's face is severely wounded. So what kind of damage <laughs> that was? That one and I. Force. Force, okay. He's just even more severely wounded. I think Troy just <laughs> walks over to his body, just. He really considers putting him out of his misery, just eventually just fine. And he casts cure wounds. Alright then. Okay. Uh, so you cast cure wounds. Seven. Yeah. On who? You. You. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I think. You look forward ahead as you're casting this, this spell and look into where, like, how the explosion had fared and, like, how much of everything is gone. And much to your surprise, in the middle of the entirety of the explosion, covered in rubble, seems to be an alive Elias. And you think that this place should have crumbled by now and fallen apart and fallen on top of everything? You are an average being, right? But it seems to be holding up, even if it's just barely. There's basically an entire whole... Like... I'll draw up, like, what everything... Like, basically the whole size. Sorry, not this. Around this big of a hole. Give or take. There's an entire hole here, and you made an entire hole here, where the bridge has basically okay, been blown to so smithereens. Like, two last step sessions ago, we bombed something. Last last step session, we bombed something. One shot session, we bombed something, and there's a big hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... If that's not even on purpose. Hey, Kibi, you got food? I always have food. Why are you not sharing any? I mean, because I ate it all. Bad. You are. Had worse wounds. I, I think, like, chunks of snow are just straight up missing. Yeah, like. 
You are holding oh. the dynamites. You are definitely missing at least one of your arms that was holding the two dynamite crates. My no, I, I didn't hold any dynamite either. No, not you. Him. Out. I'm missing. Oh, him, yeah, definitely. Oh, he, how unfortunate. You... Let me just pop two healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. He's going to give one to Petra. You're still missing an arm. You have bigger problems. Can I attach that arm with cure wounds? <laughs> you can try. Medicine. I mean, it's basically charcoal by now, but you c please make me a arcana check for medicine up to you. And can no, if you cannot help him. <laughs> Stop switching, okay? I'm reading. <laughs> okay, guidance on myself. And then gonna do the... What you said? I can. I will, also, or I, will also, I will also guidance. Can I give a heal... Can I give them a healer's kit to maybe give them to Attic? Because it probably has stuff to... Well, I'm proficient with healer's them. kit, so... Ah. Hmm... Hmm... I'll say it'll give him a bonus, but advantage is something that I don't think okay, is bonus. bonus okay. I'll give you a bonus of two plus two. Okay, okay. so you have okay. two d four plus a bonus of two and your modifier. Yes. <laughs> uh, the modifier is uh, plus one. Okay, let okay, me calculate. Two d four plus three plus one d four. d twenty. Okay, come on, you can do this. Uh, roll pop, please. So, plus two from the healer's kit, right? Plus, plus two from the healer's kit, kit and 2d4 on top of whatever you rolls. So, it would be 30 with natural 20. Fuck you, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, you're able to... It's still, like, incredibly bad. Like, it is still half charcoal, but you are able to reattach his arm and it it's working. He can slightly move his fingers. You have are situations. Well, still need to and see you that. restore 5 HP. No, actually not 5. Let me double check. Plus... That, so 9. 9 actually, yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Thank you. I've had worse wounds in the war. I... Don't know. When you live as long as I do, this is not a big shocker. You, you would not have lived that long if you were know. this reckless. Oh no, I'm just extremely like I, I wasn't always like this. I, I have powers, magic actually. I, I, a wizard. I start, I'm starting to think I should have ended your life. Oh. Anyway, I'm trying. You try to help him. Are. You were literally at my mercy. I was, and you lost that chance quite easily. Yes, because I am just so merciful. Belevolent and kind. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what are we going to do now? I pull out the um, cool-looking blade. Well, the other part of our letter did say that there might be, um, things around here. So mm -hmm. let's go um, observe it. So, uh, hey, what are you going to look for? First, I'm going to try to look for where the hell is this guy. I'm just, this guy. I'm just going to drink a healing potion, you know what? I, I changed my mind. <laughs> you can take drink the one that I gave. As you look over this site, basically the entirety of the wall no, it's plus two, yeah. Plus two. Plus four, zero. As you look over, you look at the, like, in the mines, they are holding up surprisingly well. And you can see him in the middle of it, he's still somehow alive. Definitely not on one HP, or two. Definitely not. We'll oh, yeah. give him some good berries. Uh, it, it's a good, sir. It'll heal. He's unconscious. 
his ears Shit. are blown, he is... He is not there. <laughs> He's got for a Check for a pulse. He is alive. Fuck. It's your wounds. Not whole... It's not incredibly stable, but it is... Yeah. Your wounds, he's still unconscious, but he seems to get a little better. So plus yeah. five, so he regains and... 16 HP, and on top of that, he has good berries. 10 good berries. Just, just jam it down his throat. I don't want to choke him. No, make it into like a puree. I don't have the tools. Boring. You have the back end of a big hacks close enough to crush up. Just how do you wake up a person? We cast healing magic, we feed him, force feed him healing berry, and then we beat okay, him. Reverend, guy. question. Yes. I'm going to cast command on him. <laughs> Awaken. <laughs> Hey. Well, it's I... not something to physically do at the moment. So. Uh, you... The power of magic and the best of his abilities also fills some of that stuff in his guidelines. He's unwilling, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> can I assist it? Need a DC. Yeah, I, it's a spell. So he can I assist it? <laughs> you, are you helping him so. or are you helping me? <laughs> Let me just describe it, how can we assist in it? Oh, he's out of the He doesn't save. Magic is flowing through him and then just nope, back down. Oh. I will do on him what is called Barbarian Inspiration. No, we were not using that D&D short. So. <laughs> well, he succeeded, so if you try, Mark, we'll, we'll, Mark will stab you. Aww. As as these you two are, so, like, you know, to contemplate what to do, Petrovich, you look at where you had blown everything up, like all of you basically, and mm -hmm. on the distance, right here, you see what looks like glimmers. This this entire wall is basically gone. There's nothing here. The, all of this space is just gone. And you see a fuck ton of ore. Oh. All kinds of yeah. that for I don't need other other than what? I have every single one that you had seen in the past, like the little tiny spots. You had just found like probably one of the largest ore veins that you had seen in or heard of personally. Oh only if it's only so we have gone. If only it wasn't the desert, I would have built my city here. <sighs> Listen. We could mine that and take it for ourselves. Oh, I'm already mining it inside. with my pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay near the guy. We can, like, make sure the guy's alive, bring him back, tell him he was an explosion accident, because that is what happened. Then we can get the stuff, we can split it. I guess through base. I wouldn't say no to getting all, some ore, but... I Not think, all of it, just a little. I, I don't think we can even fucking carry all of it. Wait, your car the carriage you took is nearby, right? I think yeah, it's, it's gone. Right it's right there, in the middle of the explosion. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> um... I don't think it's going to work anytime soon. I have a... Are, did, wait, did, did we just take the carriage, or are the horses with it? The horses were down there. You you said yourself that you were trying to move them and have the horses like, carried no, with my you. Horse. Uh, my horse. My horse. Oh, your horse. I thought you were trying to get my his. Horse. They no, were just... no, no. My horse, my horse. I, would, I, would I think someone else's the carriage horse. and the horses is there. Yeah, I would say the horse would be super Down, nice. they're destroyed. Okay, we can use my horse. It doesn't make a gift of horse. Um, I suppose I can fix up the carriage. The best of no. To fix the horse. No. Can listen, I will find a way. We can go uh, back to. The, we need someone to go back to the city. Get some wood. We can make a 
what a holding place, right? And then we can put it on a horse, on my horse, at least. Um, mm -hmm. we still you have... clearly don't have a carriage, so we can hop on there too. And Cambion likes walking on his foot, and then I guess that's how we split stuff. We still have a job to do. You that... have... yeah. Well, okay. I'm going to zoom out, and since I do need to go, what happens is. You, by after this, you would have had to fight some Earth Golems, or Earth Elementals. Oh, I have one. I don't have yeah. time for that. <laughs> Sadly. Sorry, Earth Elementals? Yes, Earth Elementals. Lord one of them, actually. Six? One of them, thankfully. But no. Yeah. And then you would have had your... Then I would have zoomed out and said, Oh, you get paid. Like, after finding the materials, you... Nurse this dude back to health. It wasn't, or no, you nurse him back to health. You can grab some of the ore. You cannot carry a lot of it. Like, a can lot I of it is still like 13 in... pieces. Can we, um, you can, can carry 11. A... Can we steal another wagon to um, <laughs> if you want to try, you might be, you might be sacrificing your pay if they find anyone finds out. No, I don't well, think, the... I don't think Petrovi should go to. Because he needs gold kind of more than just some ore, he will find yeah. more. Yeah. Martin would um find his best to buy a mule or something with the pay and everything to get like a carriage and then get more ore. Oh, <laughs> just right. a little bit of it to get uh, a lot of it. And I would say you would be able to get a little bit of it before people got suspicious. You would not be able to get like an entire carriage full, you would be able no. to get like maybe. A few dozen pounds of ore before you, like, you are like, okay, I'm not getting away with this much, but I might be able to get away with this much. Petrovich mm -hmm. also does take his one fucking stick of tea of dynamite. <laughs> oh yeah, I also have my four pieces. <laughs> Just everything fucking explodes, but that, if, what, five pieces of dynamite, and whatever uh, our child had. Because that's literally the only way to describe him. Uh, yeah. At least the party child. Um, if we do split ways, well, technically we're all going back to a city later on. Basically. Probably they say so we have to yeah. go to face and report. <laughs> well, so when we do eventually going. split, <laughs> yeah, we're going by. You're going by foot, so it takes you a bit longer. No, I'm um, staying here. I will. Try to convince the guy to employ me to mine to work in the mines. <laughs> <laughs> After oh, all, explode the great. I... Yeah, mm. I guess he gives to Cappy this now. It is an address. It is one. To... Ooh, address actually. One enabled the valley. One enabled in Mador. If you ever want a good job. Go here, the pay's good. And he does the same for Petrovich, which is to Petrovich, he says, Tell him Martin sent you. Uh -huh. They'll give you something more useful. Uh, in like response, Petrovich uh, gives you basically the, the map of the world, but with a path from uh, the desert to a fucking mountain range in Midor. If, like, on the edge of me door, and just, if you ever want to visit the city I'm building, just go there. I would love to visit. There's also, like, there's, like, two houses right now, but it's going to expand. Also, also, I know you don't give a shit to why I say I'm immortal, but, um, you know, you can become a vampire. Manual. It's not that hard. I am, I that feel I am a snowman. I physically cannot. Yeah, yeah. I was in my friends <laughs> that we, we became this. There was, there's a whole little situation about why we it all went wrong. But we're vampires now. And we didn't you know you can become a vampire. No, I fucking cannot. You can. It's probably more complicated. Probably possible. But anyways, tell them I sent you. You'll get better pay. Just because nepotism. Because you're important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nepotism i work there so <laughs> kabai will offer both of you like five good berries each 
Thank you. Marvin gets a special pouch to hold them in. <laughs> Troy just immediately fucking eats them. <laughs> and goodbye. If you ever <laughs> want whatever the hell you're searching for, go to the place in the door. Not okay. by foot. Take I a carriage. I would give you a second map, but I don't have one, and it's probably better for the safety of my city. Wait, guys, you have maps? Um, and on that note... <laughs> <laughs> it's just, wait, you guys are getting paid for this stuff? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are getting sleep? <laughs> oh. Actually... No. He's going to give something valuable to Kabaya. <coughs> He's going Horrible to give idea, you... really. <laughs> Well, temporarily valuable. He's going to give you the um red sword. It is a bit bloodied in some reason. Add a plus one non magical longsword. It's a plus one, but it's not magical. And um Whenever you hit a creature, you may activate something special. That I that that I won't tell you what it is, and that's what I give to Kabai. No, oh, that will sell for yeah. good money as they hop off. Don't sell it. <laughs> if you try to sell it, it won't work. Delay it already at the show. <laughs> You're going to use this. You're going to be a great, great warrior one day, right? And this this is going to do wonders for you. How could you lie and look to him like that? I mean, with my with this sword, if you fuck up, really, then you're practically a goblin with no arms. Is the is this the fucking training sword from the book from Steinhardt? No, it's my bound in blood weapon. That oh. makes it a plus one, and it activates my vampire bite that heals him, I guess. If he hits, mm. and also deals necrotic damage. Well, Kabai will never find this out as he tries to sell it. <laughs> and probably within a week, I unbound the sword. <laughs> because I can do it really, wrong. So it really just becomes useless. No, the sword is good, and then, like, you sold your broken magic weapon. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair if, you, if he uh, convinces someone it's a magic weapon, sells it for a good amount of money, and then you un unbound it, making it a normal weapon. He basically can... just scammed someone in accidentally. No, no, you see, the better thing is him convincing someone of something. Mm. Well, the problem is, I sold it as a normal weapon. <laughs> I told you it's magical. Well, it wasn't selling that good, I'm guessing. Let me actually roll. Did I sell it for as it being magical? <laughs> Make a one to two roll. Eight. Nope. <laughs> so, it's also this normal, nope. I guess. Nope. Is, um... <laughs> Wait, no, that is extremely funny. We sell we sell a weapon. It turns out to be magical. And then it's unmagicified and then it's useless. Yep. That's a scam. Um, yeah, exactly. yeah. So the payments that you'll get for doing this, uh, it did not go badly, but uh, you know, it didn't go. Uh, it did not go bad well. I mean, it definitely went badly. It it's technically mission accomplished. So as you return to Faisa, yeah, you get paid around one thousand five hundred gold pieces for your work. Sure you yeah, get 1,500 gold pieces for doing this job for the council. And... <laughs> but yeah, you... You have 1,500 gold, 1, gold pieces waiting for you, but you, you, you apparently just don't know of it. Yep. I never you read the like, letter to the, <laughs> to the end. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh I yeah, cool, I like your job. How much you would you say most likely dead? How much again? 1,500. 1, 150 platinum pieces. It's up to you whether which one you want. There yeah, you with platinum one, it's easier. Yeah, so Kabir just, just 
secretly like has thousands of dollars in it, in like his uh, <laughs> like bank in his like bank account that like in his savings account he has a bunch of money, but he just doesn't know what. I do like the idea of uh, him having insane amounts of wealth and money and just not fucking knowing about it. Yeah. I'm just the kinky hole. <laughs> okay, now that we ended, what the fuck is your character concept? I don't know where Razan was talking uh, years ago. Oh, uh, let me just right. send the character sheet so you will understand. Focus I know you took a level in Barbarian. I know you took a level in Final. Also, so, tell them what your name means. Did you, wait, did, yes. you just take every, did you take every a level in yes. every class? Here's in the wait, references. Barbarian. barbarian. Just load it. You know, when I asked you, do you take as many levels as us as you can? And you said no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was a lie. Yes, well, I was right. Resistance to call. Wait. Artificer, Burby, Bar, Cleric, George. I was right. He just takes as much as. <laughs> yeah, I guessed it at the first also, time. But that's not the thing that I was still asking the most about. Look at his stats, look at his, like, all of his, like... <laughs> look at my shopping. gold, look at my items, the quantities. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you... I hate you. Yes, that's what I've been fucking saying. <laughs> because... Why? <laughs> Max why HP. Platinum? Why are you like this? No, Everything no, was no. based also, on 13. Yeah, 52 is uh, 13 times 13. 4. Who hurt you? I will <laughs> soon. <laughs> I like to proficient in absolutely zero saving throw. I really need to go now because I'm very, very, very late. Yep. Um, that's, like, that's like what Phantom was supposed to be, uh, be with how confident she is, but that's actually horrible. Yeah. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs> you guys talk Bye. about that amongst yourself. Bye. 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 That was why. I like, no, I like how he's proficient in absolutely nothing. Yeah, we <laughs> basically made the trade with uh, uh, DM that I get no proficiencies in skills or save, but I'm proficient with every weapon, every armor, and every tool. Except for exotic weapons, yeah. What, what, that's a horrible... That's a horrible trade. You Horses. literally just take the first level of fighter and that... And you get everything. Worth it. Um, hey buddy, you don't understand. You already took one level in fighter. <laughs> Are you just... No. <laughs> I just... I do not comprehend.